people should apply for Teen Council because it's a great way to get involved in the community and you can help out teens uh, around Alabaster and at Thompson. The opening of registration for Teen Council has been announced. On today's show, we've got the details on how to apply. The 2018 Winter Olympics are now over. In sports, we will recap the huge wins that were won by many countries. On March 24th, the THS pageant was held and once again crowned a new Miss THS. In entertainment, we will give you the scoop and how it all played out. These stories plus more headlines are coming your way on today's THS TV. School, but construction has continued. Good morning, I'm Constance McKnight. And I'm Matthew Killingdorf, and this is THS TV. While we have already moved into the new high school, there are still a few things being built. Most of the athletic stadiums have to be finished, including basketball, football, baseball, track, and soccer. The proposed date to finish the, for these to be finished is late spring. There will be a 5,292 person capacity football and soccer stadium. Baseball and softball will get to have their own field houses and football, track, tennis, and soccer get a 27,000 square foot field house. Athletes won't have to worry about weather either as they are building a 30,000 square foot indoor practice and weight training facility. I feel pretty great about it and uh, I believe it's going to be great for all the athletes to not have to go back to their own high school for for more updates on the construction, keep tuning in to THS TV. Alabaster City leaders recently announced the opening of registration for Teen Council, which will last through March 31st. The group is open to any student 9th through 11th grade who attends Thompson, Kingwood, Evangel, or other select area homes. People should apply for Teen Council because it's a great way to get involved in the community and you can help out teens uh, around Alabaster and at Thompson. And it's super fun. You get to meet new people from different schools. You know, we work with Evangel and Kingwood as well as Thompson. And it's just a great way to be involved. Once a part of Teen Council, students will have the opportunity to participate in a team building day at Family Connection before holding regular meetings with Mayor Marty Hanlon, as well as being involved in organized organizing teen-focused events such as summer movie nights and water slides. As in past years, members will also be mentored by Alabaster City Council and other civic leaders. Applicants are required to submit an online form, reference letters, and a short essay, and those who are chosen will be sworn in this spring. To apply for Teen Council or find more information, visit the City of Alabaster website. Most students are adjusted to the new school after the first week, and reporter Ashley Ryan covered what prepared them. After years of waiting, the school has been mostly finished and passed inspections. Today is the open house where the community can come take a look for themselves. Not only students and teachers, but also members of the community have been excited to see the new school. The ribbon cutting took place on Saturday before the school itself was open to walk through. It began with a prayer over the school and also included thank yous to just a few of the people who made it happen and a speech from Dr. Vickers himself. Along with the ribbon cutting, the Board of Education and Administrators allowed the community to walk through the school and see each part that has been finished, such as the classrooms, lunchroom, auxiliary gym, and the rotunda. Once the ribbon was cut, everyone was able to walk the halls for the first time. People were impressed with the setup and how it will affect learning. I'm really looking forward to the new sports facilities and like the new smart boards and the classrooms and the new desks and everything. Everything's just so new and innovative and I feel like our ability to learn and succeed in this new building is just going to you know, drastically um, increase because of you know, all the new technology we've been able to incorporate. On Sunday, students were able to walk through their schedules and get more comfortable with the school itself. What is your favorite part of the new school? Post a picture of it on Instagram and tag us at THS News TV for a chance to be featured on an upcoming show. And reporting for THS TV in our new studio just two days before class starts, I'm Ashley Ryan. These chocolate cookies have their own day. Here's what's trending on Twitter. 
Today is National Oreo Day. The Oreo sandwich cookie is Twitter's hot topic this morning, coming in with 11.8 thousand tweets. The cookie is made up of two chocolate discs containing cream filling. This day in 1912, the name Oreo was first trademarked and was sold in the United States for 25 cents a pound. The company is giving away free candy bars to celebrate their special day. Tweet at us at THS News TV and, and share with us how you eat your Oreos. Now let's take a look at other hot topics in today's national headlines. Los Angeles police officer was being praised for his efforts Saturday for reviving an unresponsive three-week-old baby after the infant's father slammed the boy on the ground, authorities said. Police said the officer only identified as Officer Frazier. The officer used modified chest compressions for about nine minutes to get the boy breathing again. Remote Indonesian villagers who were becoming fearful that a shapeshifter was hiding out in their community, so they killed a rare Sumatran tiger on Sunday because they thought it was harnessed supernatural powers. The bloodied carcass of the endangered big cat was photographed Sunday hanging from beams in Haytupangan in North Sumatra. Tanner Broadwell, 26, and girlfriend Nikki Walsh, 24, sold everything they owned to pursue their dream of one day sailing around the world. However, they didn't get as far as their sailboat hit a sandbar and capsized off the coast of Madeira Beach, Florida. So did y'all watch the Winter Olympics? Yeah, I saw that um, the USA came in fourth. Yeah. yeah, I was super intrigued by Sean White's gold medal run, you know, after coming up short at the 2012 um, or 2014 Winter <laughs> Olympics. Uh, he, he couldn't get the gold and this year he did, so that was really cool to see. I've got more in today's sports. But first, we've got your news to know in today's announcements. We'll be right back with more THS TV. Still to come on THS TV. Soccer is well into, into the season, and in today's sports, I'll fill you in on all the team's recent games. The Angel Warriors Foundation is hosting their second annual extravaganza egg hunt, and we'll give you all the information in today's news. This is THS TV, Thompson High School source for sports. This past Friday, the boys' soccer team participated in their soccer program's annual in-school soccer game. Toward the beginning of the first half, the boys struggled with passing and could barely get a pass half field. But after a surprising free kick, the game shifted and the Warriors went on to win the game 2-0. Scoring the goals were seniors Kenneth Rodriguez and Cole Hadley. The boys' next game is tonight against American Christian Academy. Last Saturday, the varsity baseball team traveled to Decatur for a non-conference game to play the Austin Black Bears. The game got off to a slow start, with each team only scoring one point in the first inning. Throughout the next three innings, the Warriors held the Black Bears scoreless while the Warriors tagged on two more points, making the score three to one. To finish out the game, the Warriors scored six more points to the Black Bears two. Thompson came out on top with a final score of nine to three. For more base baseball updates, stay tuned in to THS TV. This past year, the Pyeongchang held the, winter, the 2018 Winter Olympics, where 94 countries competed in 15 events. Out of the 94th countries, 30 found medals with Norway winning the medal count 30, with 39 medals, including 14 gold. The United States fell into fourth place with a total of 23 medals, most coming from snowboarding, where now three-time Olympian sn snowboarder Sean White was able to cap his third gold at the Olympics after falling short four years ago at Sochi. The next Olympics is the Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan in 2020. From the high school gym to the college turf, we've got the details in today's national sports headlines. star Kobe Bryant has received an Oscar for his animated short film, Dear Basketball. The film was based on a poem he wrote in 2015 on his retirement from his sport. Bryant delivered a heartfelt speech saying, I'm glad we do a little more than basketball. The Atlanta Falcons are expressing interest in Seattle Seahawks defensive end Michael Bennett. 
Bennett signed a three-year extension with the Seahawks in 2016, but he has been made available for trade. Kawhi Leonard may be looking for a new shoe deal, as talks with Jordan Brand have stalled. Leonard, quote, did not feel like the new deal reflected his accomplishments and standing within the league, sources told ESPN. That's all for today's sports. Tune in on Friday for a soccer recap. Now back to Constance with more news. Academies all over THS are bringing in with the new and out with the old, as the new building has opened up and many opportunities in academies all over Thompson, like engineering, choir, and the arts. The new space has brought new technology to every class, and each academy utilizes that technology in their own creative way. Despite some new buildings are still under construction, academies like theater are still making the best of it through projects like Big Fish. Next week, reporter Joseph Cooper will give you all the details on what these academies are bringing in. The Angel Warriors Foundation is hosting their second annual special needs extravaganza by the members of the special needs community an opportunity to take part. This event will be held on Saturday, March 17th from 2 to 4 at Larry Simmons Stadium. Eggs with surprises in them will be hidden throughout the field for visitors to find with even more surprises after the hunt is over. Thompson Theater had the one act plays last weekend and I didn't get to go but I saw videos of it and they did really well. Yeah, I was, I was personally there. I got to see, uh, see Desmond, you know, in his, uh, his little act and I thought it was really funny and really cool for uh, just the students to be able to direct their own plays. Mm -hmm. I've got more in today's entertainment. But first, Gavin has your local forecast in today's Warrior weather. We'll be right back. The 2018 Miss THS pageant took place last weekend and reporter Gracie Coker will fill you in on all of this year's winners in today's entertainment. A new jailbreak has been released and for the iOS 10 and 11, I'll give you all the details in today's Tech Talk. You're watching THS TV, Thompson High School source for entertainment. Thompson Theater's department's production of Big Fish isn't the only thing theater students have been working on, as last week marked the annual student-directed One Acts. The shows are produced and created solely by students and were held last Thursday and Friday. Students from every class were assigned to create their own unique play to be held for the Thompson community. The plays featured at the festival were for Feet Sake, Twinderella, The Most Cliche Elevator Play, Scarlet expectations and action news. Be sure to tune in next, next week to stay tuned with Thompson Theater. Miss THS wasn't the only crown given out in the auditorium. Miss THS was held this past weekend at the Old High School. Eleven contestants are participated in an opening number and formal walk. After top five was announced, they then answered on-stage questions and scores were tallied to reveal the winners. Miss Photogenic was Hannah Cole, Miss Congeniality was 
Deja Moore. Second alternate was Jenna Williams. And first alternate was Hannah Cole. And the 2018 Miss TMS was Sarah Turner. Music, movies, and more. We've got the latest gossip and celebrity news in today's Hollywood headlines. The 2018 Oscar ceremony took place last Sunday night, and many A-list nominees were honored with the awards. Winners included movies The Shape of Water Leading with 13 awards and Dunkirk with 8, as well as actors Jordan Peele and Margot Robbie, who also went home with the awards. To see a full list of winners, visit CNN.com. Khloe Kardashian's first baby is on the way, and Sunday night she revealed that she and her boyfriend Tristan Thompson are having a girl. The gender was confirmed on the season finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians when Khloe made a phone call to her sisters to deliver the results from her doctor. Demi Lovato and her fans were both moved to tears Friday night during her concert in Inglewood, California, when two of Lovato's friends got engaged on stage. Lovato helped plan the surprise proposal for American Idol alumni Rayvon Owen. That's all for today's entertainment. Tune in on Friday for more entertainment. Now let's toss it to Luke with today's Tech Talk. Eight days ago, on February the 27th, a group by the name of Electra released a long-awaited jailbreak for iDevices iOS 11 to iOS 11.1.2. Jailbreaking your iDevice grants you access to many tweaks and custom features. The issue with it is it voids the warranty with, your, with Apple and makes your iDevice more vulnerable to unwanted viruses and malware. If you are willing to take this risk, you must have access to a computer, iTunes, an application called Cydia Impact, or some basic computer skills, and accept that if anything goes wrong, it's your fault, not Apple's responsibility to fix it. There are many tutorials for you to follow at your own risk, but be on the lookout for scam tutorials that will lead you to fake websites. That's all for today's Tech Talk. Tune in next Tuesday for more tech tips. Now back to Matthew with more news. Last Monday, teachers and students released purple balloons to remember the death of Cameron C.C. Calloway in the morning before school. Students, faculty, and staff also wore purple in remembrance of Cece. Students were able to attend her funeral and wake that morning as well. You know, I always thought it was like, I've always wanted to like jailbreak my phone, but I've like never had the courage to go ahead and do it. Cause I know it would be my fault and my parents would not do yeah, it. Yeah, it's okay. I, I never wanted to either just because of that reason. Um, but we've got you covered on the latest tech news and now Gavin has you covered on the weather to come. Gavin? When you get to the bus this morning, it will be 52 degrees outside, so make sure to dress warm. When you arrive at school, it will be slightly colder with, or at 53 degrees. That's it for today's bus stop forecast. Now back to you guys. School last Monday, and I was really excited to come to this school. Same. I'm, I was excited to see all of, like, just everything that's going on and, like, everything that having their classes and stuff. Yeah, I, I really like the see-through classroom, like the glass classrooms, um, just because like you, it's a, kind of a new experience. Like you don't just have to peep through a little tiny window on the door, you can see everything that they're doing. And I think it's a neat little thing in the new high school. I like, okay. And I like the new gyms. They're really nice. And like each sport has, well, most sports have their own gym and you don't have to schedule and like have conflicts with other sports. Mm -hmm. I like the water fountains. They have a little, you know, filtered water. Oh, like, yes, that is coming really really so many times. Count how many water bottles this Right. That's all for today's news. Tune in on Friday for more news. And follow us on Twitter for updates on events happening at THS this week. Have a great day.